Hi, Colin with Dow Dynamics. Today in the garage, we're gonna be showing you how to install both our standard or sequential LED side markers like you see here on this 2021 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. Let's get started. Start installation, we're gonna come over to the driver's side of the vehicle. As you can see, we have our wheels turned all the way to the outside. This is to gain access to the torque screws holding on the mud flap and the fender liner. To do this, you'll need the T15 Torx bit. We're gonna start with the mud flap and we'll be removing these two screws on the bottom first. And there'll be three more inside of the wheel well. You may need to turn the wheel to gain access to the furthest screw, but there will be no need to fully drop the mud flap. And then continue by removing the remaining 10 screws holding on the fender line. Once those are removed, you can grab a plastic to removal tool and remove the one push clip off the top of the fender liner. Now we can go ahead and drop our fender liner and grab ourselves a T20 Torx bit to remove our side marker from our fender. If you're going to be installing our static factory replacement with the two pin connector, you can do this by plugging it in and then reversing the same steps we used to remove the factory one to install this one and finish your installation. If you're gonna be installing our option with sequential features, we'll need to install a new harness. We'll show you how to do that next. For our sequential side markers, we're gonna grab our supplied harness, we're gonna unplug one of the connectors on the back of the headlight, plug it into our adapter harness, and then plug the adapter harness back into the headlight. Coming into the wheel well, you'll see we have two connectors, a gray one and the black one. We'll be removing the black one. To do this, We'll be sliding back the red locking tab and then compressing the black tab here and pulling out at the same time. Now we can take our adapter harness and plug our male end into the connector we just removed and then slide that red locking tab back down. Then take our female connector and plug it right back into our headlight. Now we can set our sequence by plugging our green wire into our connector. Pin one is gonna be right to left, and pin four is gonna be left to right. Since we're on the driver's side of the vehicle, we're gonna to wanna to plug it into pin four. To do this, first, we're gonna take a pick tool and use it to slide open our purple locking tab. And then we're gonna to wanna to slide in our pin with the open end of the pin facing the bottom of the connector. You'll know it's in all the way whenever you can't easily pull that connector out. Then we can take our supplied rubber plug and put it into the other open end with the skinny side facing down, and then close our lock tab. We're gonna to need to now route the rest of our wiring harness to our rear side marker. To do this, we're gonna run it behind the fender liner and underneath of the truck. You can do this however you see fit, as long as it's away from any moving parts or anything that gets hot like the exhaust. For our application, we're just gonna zip tie to some factory wire limit. Moving on to the rear, we'll need to remove this plastic fender piece. First, we'll need to grab a T15 Torx bit because we'll be taking off the rear mud flap. Just like the front, we're gonna be starting off by removing the two screws on the bottom of the mud flap. Now you'll need to remove the three screws on the inside of the wheel well. Now you can go ahead and remove the rear mud flap. Our next step is gonna to be to remove this plastic trim piece by gently prying and pulling it away from the vehicle and working from one side to the other. You can use a plastic trim removal tool to help you get this started. And if you break any of these clips, you can go ahead and use the ones we provide in the kit to replace them when we go to put everything back together. This trim piece is held on with a bunch of these plastic clips. Don't be afraid to give it some force in some areas where it's needed. These are the only things that are holding on this trim piece. Now we can unplug our factory side marker, and just like the front, we release this red locking tab and compress this black tab and pull away from the side marker. We can remove our two T20 screws and the side marker will release from the trim panel. Now 
Now we can secure our Dow Dynamics replacement to our plastic trim piece. If you've got our static two pin option, you can go ahead and plug in your factory connector for securing everything back to the vehicle the same way you took it apart. If you're installing our sequential four pin option, we'll need to run our new harness across the top of the frame rail, securing it to the old harness. Then we can fish it through this hole where the old harness comes through. We'll essentially be replacing the old harness so we can go ahead and snap the old harness off of the retaining clips, push it back to the hole, and then secure it up with a zip tie. Then you can go ahead and snap in the new four pin harness in the path that the old harness took. Now we can plug in our Dow Dynamics replacement. Make sure you plug it in all the way before you slide forward the gray locking tab. Now that our rear is complete, we can come back to the front and plug in our Dow Dynamics replacement all the way and lock down that gray locking tab before securing everything to the vehicle the same way we took it apart. As you can see with our LED side markers installed, not only will it give you a clean custom look, but it will also illuminate the entire width of the housing, unlike your factory side markers, making your truck stand out. Whether you go with our standard or sequential side markers, both will come with a unique startup sequence where the light will illuminate from the inside out at full power and then gradually return to a running light. With our sequential side marker, you'll also gain the added feature of a sequential turn signal. Both of these options will be available in your choice of clear, smoked, or amber. If you're looking to pick up a set of LED side markers for your vehicle or any of our other products, visit our website at DowDynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.